The main challenge is that our information goes now into our pockets and purses and handbags. So what we need to do is to design the environment so that people can collaboratively build knowledge together. And in our technological application it happens so that people have their own mobile devices or tablets or PCs and they can send knowledge to some kind of uh, server or interactive smart board and collaboratively create knowledge. And this is very important both from educational perspective but also from leadership. For instance, when you are designing something or you are building a new strategy for the company, it's very important to get everybody's intellectual capacity uh, in action. We are designing future learning environments for uh, becoming teachers. Because in Finland we are heavily investing in school, our school is very good, but we need to constantly develop it so that when we get these new technologies and new systems we can create environments that are flexible and that we can integrate this kind of uh, new communication tools for our pedagogical solutions. The spaces have to be different, they cannot be fixed lecture halls, but you must have be able to, to move the tables, move the chairs, uh, everything has to be uh, changeable and flexible and also you have to um, be able to have different kinds of designs like if you have problem-based learning then you need small groups and if you have a student activating lecture then you need a different kinds of, uh, kind of space. Of course we need laboratories uh, for chemistry and uh, always you have to design the learning space according to your goals of learning. The focus is when we are designing new universities or schools or renovating old schools or universities, we have to think about the future learning. What kind of learning we want to promote and then <coughs> we can have scripts uh, and collaborate with engineers and architects and interior designers and technology people how to build uh, interactive learning environments for the future schools.